Good morning. I'll officially call this meeting of the Seneca County Board of Commissioners for Tuesday, May 31st to order. Please join us for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Commissioner Zoller will offer us the prayer. Dear Lord, Thank you for such a great Memorial Day weekend. Thank you for the, the wonderful country, the best country in the world that we live in and the democracy that we have. And dear Lord, please give us the strength and wisdom at the county commissioners to lead and govern the people of Seneca County in the proper way and in your name. Amen. Roll call, please. Commissioner Stacy. Here. 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 Okay. We'll have the signing of the journal and I'll accept a motion to approve the DVD recording of our previous board session, which was on Thursday, May 26th, and the index of that meeting. Make a motion to approve the DVD readings as outlined. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Approved. Thank you. All right, um, adjustments to the printed agenda. Is there anything anyone needs to have uh, added? Bond rating, please. Okay. You jumped it out of me, Mike. That's what I was going to ask for. Anything else? Stacy, Nicole? Okay. All right. Well, let's start with that one. Um, under old business, the bond rating. Okay, well, S&P Global, previously known as Standard & Poor's, uh, has come through with their final rating for the county revenue, and that's an A+. Uh, and that is uh, an excellent rating based on the fact that it is indeed a sales tax revenue bond. Um, I did some quick calculations. It looks like the bond will be priced uh, somewhere south of 3%. And uh, depending on the ratings, uh, but every tick of a rating usually means someplace like an 85 percent more that you would pay for the bond. So just to give you an idea, um, if we would have been rated two worse, uh, which would have been someplace like a B plus, um, it would have meant about $400,000 difference in total repayment of the debt. So my point is that it was well worth going to uh, Going to the meeting, talk to them, getting the rating. We get, again, we got the A plus rating, and uh, we look forward to getting that thing priced and sold. Now. So, in essence, that uh, uh, it has about a net savings to the residents of well, Seneca County of about four hundred thousand. If we'd have been rated lower, uh, it could have been as much as four hundred thousand dollars. Yes, uh, a quarter of a percent on nine million dollars is about four hundred thousand over an amortization of 30 years. And a B plus to A, A plus amounts to about a quarter of a percent? Typically. Typically. Okay, and I realize we're kind of talking high level here, but I think that's interesting for the residents of Seneca County to know that. I think they're actually pricing them on the 6th. Yes, the 6th of June. Yes. 6th, six, six. okay, good. Okay. Right. The other thing under old business was the museum task force reorganizational update. Um, I intended to give a, a brief update of where we're at, and then once I've got the last edits of these documents, I'll get them to the two of you, and we're going to schedule um, the museum on uh, for our work session. <laughs> our work session, which is 14th. Yeah. We're going to have the work session at the museum. No. no, our work session here at 9.30, our regular monthly work session at 9.30, we're going to put on that schedule to, to have uh, discussions on this museum. But I just wanted to give you the highlights of our efforts of the group now, and then I'll get these documents to you to have to review before, before that meeting. Um, so our task force, which has consisted of two representatives from um, the Barnsteinser Museum Foundation and two representatives from the Historical, um, Seneca County Historical Society, um, and myself and Nicole has been our recorder there um, and led with our representative from the um, retired executives groups for um, Chuck Gallagher. Uh, we have met since April of 15 and at the time we had proposed doing that in this room at a board meeting prior to Mike being on the board, 
um, was we figured 12 to 18 months we would be working on this effort and um, and that's where we're at and where we're ready to do now is that group wants to um, we'll have, we have the feedback on three main documents one being a position dis description for a director and again they know that Mike participated in some of these meetings and I did the others um, that it's up to this board on all of these things but for uh, to have a paid director by the Board of Commissioners so that will be a position description to look at a draft of the Seneca County Museum Advisory Board and this is a reworking of an old advisory board agreement that existed um, back in the until it was disbanded in the early 80s and that defines um, the, the group and how they would function and what they would do in working in uh, with their director as an ex-officio uh, and then the cooperative and operating agreement which is the portion that I have the most work to do on yet at this point but um, that group um, Jim Supans helped draft one and we also had samples from other counties and I'm at the point of needing to kind of merge and blend these two documents to fit us because we're a little different than we were and a little different than what some of those other counties are in size of the museum and so forth but that's that's the update um, and I just wanted to share all that now knowing we're going to have a lot of discussion at that work session on it um, but I hadn't given that much detail because we weren't that far but I really greatly appreciate both groups coming to the table being part of this process a little over a year now and with all of us on this on the same focus of doing what's best for the museum and what's going to what's going to set the foundation for our museum moving forward um, and, and advance the museum to be even a better asset than it already is so that's uh, that's the outline if there's any questions now or not that I wanted to I, I just uh, just a question and not to you know get down in the nitty-gritty of it right now but yeah. is is one of the components of the agreement that it would be shared responsibility the financial responsibility mm -hmm. shared as to how it is I know it's going to be worked out but so that the foundation the uh, historical society and the county would share in in at some percentage into the operation that, operational cost that's the part that has to be worked through with the um, agreement the cooperative agreement or memorandum of understanding we're going to call it um, between the groups because at, uh, at this point no there's nothing in that and the advisory board is a, a non money bearing board I mean they're not going to establish be established as a 501c3 um, they're j it's just an advisory board to the museum and that will be a kind of the authority uh, of museum stuff to us we will appoint people to that board and both those groups will appoint people to that board um, that kind of a thing was you know as the draft is now but that is to be looked at for the cooperative agreement and and how that should or shouldn't be but in the documents coming forward it is the the presentation is that we pick up the the fee or the the salary of the director and the benefits of the director um, again not say it's gonna it's gonna come through that way but that's the way it's gonna present it to this board and then the other other things to figure out um, on, on their activities and operations. I know there's a lot to be worked out there but just to go on record that if that I have no interest to ever take the responsibility solely over by the county right that it has to be some sort of shared thing before I would ever Throw my one third vote in. Yeah. Yeah. FYI. Okay. So there'll be, like I said, I have the work session on the 14th, 9 9 o'clock. Are you guys okay if we start that earlier? Sure. Um, because well, I think there'll what's, be what's enough the discussions of stuff that we can get done in a half hour. 14th. 14th. The 14th. Second, the second Tuesday. It's yeah, normally 9 30, but when we'll You want to start at 9? Start at 9 if we can. Okay. There has, been a, there has been a preliminary budget put together. And there has been the desire, or at least the verbal desire, of each of the groups to participate. Uh, some significantly less than others because they don't have the income to, to show it. But there will be some contribution, I'm sure, by all three parties. The level will be decided upon once the agreement is put Yeah. I, I applaud you, Holly. I mean, I know this has been a difficult task, and it's one that I think since you and I both were elected, that was one of the issues that was brought to the forefront to, to do something and I, and I as long as it is a cooperative financial arrangement I'm totally supportive of it at a high level a lot of details can be worked out but if it's ever gone solely back on the county 
I would adamantly be against it. Okay. That's the update there. Um, we are not quite to 10.15 and we have a bid opening. Um, so we're going to have to hold on that. So we'll continue down through um, new business. Unless you want to start with the bill vouchers. Hey, I got uh, bill vouchers batch 16714. I've got a supplement to the permanent appropriation for the Sheriff's Community Corrections Grant Fund, uh, moving $1,637.48 into his Medicare PRS line. I have a supplement to the permanent appropriations for the Capital Project Fund, just putting $52,030 into the CSB line. I have a resolution setting time, date, and place to receive sealed bids for ADA Township Road 138-7.20 Superstructure Replacement Pre-Stressed Box Beams. This will be on Tuesday, June 21st at 10.30 a.m. here in our office. Resolution setting time, date, and place to receive sealed bids for the Seneca County Road 5, County Road 56 pavement resurfacing project. This will be Tuesday, June 21st at 10.15 here in our office. Um, I have resolution authorizing an agreement with Area 7 Workforce Investment Board for the uh, fiscal year 16-17 subgrant agreement on behalf of the Seneca County Department of Job and Family Services. A resolution authorizing President of the Board to sign the FY 2016-2017 DYS subsidy reclaim grant application and all related documentations on behalf of the Seneca County Board of Commissioners and Seneca County Juvenile Court. And that's all I have. Do I have a motion? Move for approval. Seconded. A motion and a second um, to approve all the resolutions as stated. Any comments, concerns, or questions? Okay. All roll, please. Commissioner Kirshner? Yes. Commissioner Zoller? Yes. Commissioner Stacy? Yes. All approved. Thank you. All right, you know, just still a few minutes from the 10:15 mark to open. Well, up let, I mean, let's talk about strategic planning one second. Okay. Since, uh, yep. We've got some time. We've got the building committee set up to meet uh, sometime early next week, and hopefully, then we will also have a uh, date for uh, strategic planning uh, sometimes toward the end of June for all committees. So I want, hopefully, you folks will get your groups together sometime before the end of June. So we can all come together. I don't know if we've talked to uh, Mr. Christensen yet or not about a date. Yes. Be available. You did. Yeah, I, I, I ran into him and he said he had talked to you. Yeah, I ran it and I told him that we were looking at uh, that initiating another another meeting, and he's certainly very very receptive. And quite frankly, I thought he's done an excellent job on yeah. it, and, and he's willing to step up the plate again. So it's just a matter of just reaching out to him. And our IT communications, we have a we have a meeting set. Um, I forget the date of it, but I know our group is set to meet sometime within the next. Are we meeting this week or next week? Uh, the fifteenth. The fifteenth. Okay. So we we know we have to be after the fifteenth. And your group your group is going to talk about meeting too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, we've reached out and and you're. You got a busy schedule, but that's, <laughs> in, that's in May June. It's going to be a little clearer, and we will talk. We're going to add a component to it, to the financial, because of um, uh, some questions that we got during the, uh, the process with us and people mobile, et, et cetera. So we're going to do uh, kind of a balance sheet and income statement book and do some projections and uh, make some decisions as to, uh, from a planning standpoint, if revenue would drop off, what would we do? And if it would increase, what would we do? So we'll also have a- uh, So at the overall meeting. Yeah, a financial okay. component Good. built into the uh, building committee. Yeah, I think that'll be helpful because there's going to be a lot of wishes um, and directions and each in and they're all going to one's going to impact the other and we're just going to target when we can make things happen on some of those things. Yeah, all comes down to the money. 
Okay, but the financial will be included in the overall meeting, which will be after the individual committee meetings. Okay, well, we have hit 1015, so we can have the CDBG Fostoria ADA restroom bid opening. Building first floor toilet renovations at the city of Fostoria. Let's see. Shirley, do you know what the engineer's estimate is on this one? Eighty thousand. Is it eighty? Mm -hmm. Okay. I have one bid, and the total bid amount for this project is one hundred and fourteen thousand. Eight hundred fifty-one dollars one one four eight five one point zero zero, and this is from Helms Construction out of Finley, Ohio. So the um, back obviously is over ten percent. So who? Where does that go now? Does it go back to the rest of the time? Okay. 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 So the engineer will have to relook at it then, correct? Then it goes out for bid again? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, we appreciate the bid we received, and we'll have to proceed and go, go look back at things from there since it's over the 10% of the engineer's estimate. Next, with the bid opening, but that is 10:30, so we're going to have to hold on that one as well. So we could take citizens' comments at this time. If that's all right. If no one else has anything else for business, no, nothing else. Okay, we can have citizens' comments at this time because we've got time before we can do the next bid opening, which is scheduled for 10:30. We can't do it before the scheduled time. Anything for citizens' comments? I'm I'm curious about the documents as far as the historical odds of museum. Will those be available for public to look at before the 14th meeting, or is the 14th meeting just to to uh, present them? I, I'm just. Curious. I'm going to as or soon as I get the last round of edits made. I mean, technically they're in this office; they're public record now. Um, I'm going to make the edits and send them to these two as soon as I can get that all done. And that one, I've got a little more work to do than the just edits. Um, but they're, they can be, anybody wants to request them. They're, they're public record now because they're in here. Okay. Yeah. I'm just curious. But like I said, that'll be, that work session will have a lot of discussions on them and so forth, but yeah. Okay, so, so it's, it, the 14th is, is discussion about the document. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. But we thought we had enough notice when the task force met that I told them I would give an update at one of our meetings here, um, before the work session and see if they agreed to that being the topic of the work session and starting that a little earlier that day so we have plenty of time for people to know that we're going to be discussing that okay. good question thank you anything else for citizens comments mm -hmm. okay. you could do the uh home energy groups here you can look that. oh yeah we can do that if it doesn't if it doesn't matter if that goes early palmer energy was going to give us an update on the solar project and electric no, you're not here for me. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't see Amy, so I didn't know if somebody else was coming for Amy. Okay. But we can't do that because Amy's not here. So Amy's scheduled at 1035. So there's nothing else. We will just recess um, until we can do the bid opening in 10 minutes. Hold the table. <laughs> I would make a motion that we would recess. Okay. We don't need a motion, we'll just recess, but 
David, you could have filled in 10 minutes worth.